haven't posted a video in a very, very long time. Um, we have begun to get some things straightened up in the garden area. Uh, but this year we have something a little bit different and I'm not going to do a garden tour right now. We're going to wait a little while because we're uh, having to keep shift our, keep shifting our stuff from the outside back into the garage because of this weird weather that we've been having with the uh, frost and just a lot of weirdness. But <clears throat> this year we have baby chicks and I wanted to give you guys an update on the baby chicks or actually our first post we don't have an update yet because we haven't posted a video about the baby chicks yet it's gonna be a very short video and hold on I'll show you what we got here's the babies these are our girls these are, we got Rhode Island Reds this year. Usually we get Golden Comets, uh, and usually they're pullets by the time we get them, they're teenagers, and they start to lay after a couple weeks that we have them. But this year we're trying something new. We got baby chicks, hi. <laughs> and they're, um, we've got a pretty basic setup right here. We have the heat lamp over here, and um, we have the thermometer over here to measure the temperature so we can see it from the inside of the house so I can keep an eye on how warm they need to be and if we have to adjust the heat lamp or not but let me back up a little bit we had this box we've had for a while it's been sitting underneath the carport and I forget what my husband said that um, it was used for but it's been out there for a long time and we decided to use this it was already done, so we didn't have to put it together. Um, did put some chicken wire over the top that's held down with some screws so that when they get big enough, they're not hopping and popping out of the box. We have a pretty basic feeder and water. We opted for the larger water because we're going to need it anyways when they go into the coop. We're currently working on the coop as of now and it's in the making so by the time they're ready to come out and go in the coop it'll be finished but I just wanted to give you guys a little look-see how cute they are and so far so good they've been doing really well um, we bought extra because we thought you know there's always that chance that you know some of them don't make it and so far so good they've all made it and that's our little chicky update for right now. And get this video up, uploaded onto YouTube. And if you guys have any, I don't know, uh, suggestions or recommendations or advice or tips or anything on uh, baby chicks, comment down, the down below because this is our first time raising them from uh, baby chicks. Like I said, we usually get the teenagers. and But this year, with all that's been going on, the craziness in the world, <clears throat> there were no teenagers to be found. So we just we opted to try our hand at little baby chicks. And I gotta say, I was nervous at first, but this seems pretty easy to me. We'll see how it goes. All right. Thanks for watching.